we have a bent tube and the length of the tube is l and they have given the radius of this tube is smaller they have also given the flow rate of water to be q we need to find the moment of reaction forces that is the torque of flowing water acting on the tube's walls relative to point o so you can see that this water which was going in the straight line suddenly turned towards bottom so that means the force is exerted on the water in downward direction so the reaction force must be applied on this tube in upward direction so that upward force will cause a torque about point o and that is what we need to find so let's see this corner a bit so the the liquid is coming with the velocity v and it turns down and continues with the velocity v so you can see it has some momentum towards right so if it is stopped that means it experienced a force in this direction let's call it fx and then it was traveling in horizontal direction but suddenly it's not traveling in downward direction that means it also experienced a force fy towards bottom so this fx and fy is the forces experienced by the liquid so opposite of that will be the forces experienced by the pipe so fy on the water is down so fy on the pipe is up fx on the water is towards left so fx on the pipe is towards right so these are the forces exerted on water by pipe and the reaction forces are these which are exerted on pipe by water so now if we can find the values of fx and fy we can find the torque of these forces about point o so let's find what are fx and fy so because we can clearly see there is a change in momentum here so let's write that fx is equal to dpx by dt now p is mv but velocity is constant so we take velocity outside this becomes v dm by dt and m is rho into volume so rho is again constant we'll take that out so this becomes rho v into dv by dt this v is volume and dv by dt is given to us that is q so this becomes rho v q so similarly same equations in y direction we will get fy is equal to dpy by dt so again py is also m into v just like here and again we will go out inside we will have dm and dm will be d rho v rho will be constant it will come out it will be dv by dt and what is the whatever is the volume flow rate here same volume flow rate is downwards so this also becomes rho v into q now we have the values of x, fx and fy so let's write the torque about point o so fx is at a distance r and its torque is clockwise we have taken outside as positive so the torque due to fx will be minus fxr and due to fy the torque is anti clockwise and we have taken outside as positive so torque will be fy into l so the magnitudes are same so this becomes rho vq into l minus r now l is given as 22 cm and r is just 0.5 cm so that's negligible compared to 22 so let's neglect that and what we get is torque is rho vq into l now we are not given velocity but we are given flow rate and we are given the radius of the tube so we know flow rate is velocity into cross sectional area so from here we can get the value of v so flow rate is equal to velocity into area we need to find the value of v so we'll find the value of v and put that as q by pi r square and this will be our answer so this is the torque the tube will experience from the water about point o all right